In this video we've got a dam that's retaining water to a certain height h and in this example the height of water is 5 meters and the width of the dam is 15 meters and what we're trying to work out is the total force pushing on the dam as a result of the water and the moment at the base of the dam trying to topple the dam as a result of the force of the water. So in this example what we're going to do is we're just going to look at applying the governing equations for this problem. We're not going to look at how to derive them or where they come from. We're just going to assume the governing equations and look at how to apply them to solve this problem. So what's going on here? So we've got water to a certain height h. What that means is as you go down through this water column, the pressure of the water and therefore the force on the dam is going to increase linearly with a triangle relationship. What we can do to make this problem a bit simpler is we can replace all of the forces in this linear relationship with one single resultant force, F. Okay, and that force is representing the total force of all of the forces acting on the dam. And that force is going to be given by the relationship force equals the density of water times gravity times the area of the dam times the centroid of the dam. And for a rectangle surface the centroid is just going to be half of the total depth. So the centroid is just going to be 5 over 2 which is 2.5 meters. What we're saying in this equation is that the total force on the dam is the average pressure times by the area of the dam. So our average pressure is the pressure at half depth, so that's rho times g times the centroid which is half of the depth, and then a is just the area of the dam which is 5 meters times by 15 meters which is 75 meters squared. So, what we also need to know, if we're going to replace all of our forces with one single resultant force, is the point at which that force acts from the, from the surface, and we call that location L dash. So, what that must be is the location at which all of the forces above the location of our resultant force is equal to all of the forces below the location of our resultant force. So if that is true, so if F is the total of all of the forces and L bar is the point where the forces above F are equal to the forces below, then we can replace all of our forces with one single resultant force F. So for a rectangle shape where our force and pressure are increasing linearly, this location is just going to be two thirds of h. So L dash is just going to be two thirds of our total height. But we can also demonstrate that formally as L dash is equal to the second moment of area of the surface about its neutral axis over the area of the surface times the centroid of the surface and then add all of that to the centroid again. The final thing we need to know is the second moment of area about the centroid of our surface and for a rectangle section that is just the width times the height to the power of 3 over 12. So we now have all of the equations that we need to start to solve this problem. So what is the total force acting on our surface. Well that's density of water times by gravity times by the area of our surface which we've already calculated is 75 meters squared times by the centroid which is 2.5 meters and that gives us a total force acting on our dam of 1839 375 newtons 
So that's the total force F pushing on our dam. Next thing we need to know is at what point it acts. So that's L dash using this equation, but before we can solve this equation, we need to work out the second moment of area of our surface. So I naught is equal to the width, which is 15, times the height, which is 5 to the power of 3, over 12. And that all comes to a value of 156.25 meters to the power of 4. So we can now plug that value into our equation for L dash. So L dash is second moment of area over the area of our surface times by the centroid and then added to the centroid and that gives you a value of 3.33 meters which as we said a few moments ago is the same as two thirds of our total height. So now we know the total force pushing on the dam and its location relative to the surface. The final thing we want to work out is the moment at the base. So this moment here, trying to topple the dam, M. And that moment is going to be this total force times by the lever arm between the force and the base. And you should be able to see that that lever arm is going to be the total depth minus the depth of the force from the surface. So we can say that our moment is equal to the total force times h minus l dash, which equals 1839375 times 5 minus 3.33 meters which gives us a moment of 3071756.25 newton meters so that is how to calculate the total force the location of that force and the moments on the base of a dam.